we must remember our position. We'll talk about that today on Bible Time. Hello again, everyone, and thank you for joining me for Bible Time. I got a video from a friend. Um, it's by a man on TikTok. I'm not going to mention his name, but he's very popular. He's got a very long beard, um, and he's he's really good. But in this video, I, I really took caution as to what he was saying, and, I, and that's why my friend sent it to me to get my opinion on it. So he starts out saying, the devil is a bully. I don't disagree with that at all. He's a bully. But what he then says, the moment you show him you have power, you have authority, that you're walking in your anointing, you will knock him out. Whoa, really? You see, people, we've got to realize the things that we tell others. I know his intention in, in making this video, and he's not wrong in his intention, but he didn't say it. We've got to be very careful with the words we use. We have to communicate our intentions. There was a, a popular song a couple years ago that simply said, when you don't know what to say, just say Jesus. I understand the intention, but you've got to understand that there are people that will latch on to words and run with it. And what the problem is in this, this video that this man made is he's saying that you can knock out the devil. Well, let me tell you about a dream I had a few years ago. Um, I was getting into deliverance, understanding it, reading about it in the Bible, reading what others have done. Um, you know, I got this book, the biblical guidebook to deliverance and, you know, just different things to understand how it works because I really believed that God was leading me to help people find freedom, the same freedom that I found myself. So I had a dream. And in this dream, I'm in a room, a very small room. And there I hear people cheering. And a, a small demon, like a little imp, pops up. And I can't remember what he looked like. He was probably a dark figure. But anyway, I just said a few words. And I, you know, held my hands up and, and prayed. And, and boom, he was gone. I knocked him out. And everybody was cheering. And then a bigger demon, like a power demon, came in. And he was a little tougher. But I was able to remove that one as well. And then I got arrogant and I said, bring on Satan. And what popped up next was not what I expected. No, it, did, it wasn't uh, a red man with uh, horns and a pitchfork and a pointy tail. No, it wasn't anything like that. It was a man that was much taller than me, much bigger than me, much muscu more muscular than me, and he was bald, of all things. Interesting. But anyway, I st stepped back and I thought, hmm, I'm not sure if I can take him. But I said, I got Jesus behind me. I'm going to do this. And I went at him. And immediately, an angel stepped in front of me and stopped me. And Satan just stood there laughing at me. And then I heard voice behind me, which I would hear often in dreams and I know it's the Holy Spirit saying, you are not to take on Satan alone. I will take on Satan for everyone. And then I realized that I was working in my own strength and God was warning me, you cannot take on certain demons or Satan himself in your own power. You can, and you can't do it, period. God fights that battle for you. So I understand what the man's saying. He's telling, he's trying to encourage you in this video to walk in your anointing because there's power and authority in it. And I don't disagree with that at all. But the minute you say that you're going to knock him out after you just called him a bully, that in my mind and probably in the minds of many others just puts in this thought of, okay, I feel empowered. I'm going to go up and punch him and knock him out. You are not going to do that to Satan. Don't even attempt it. In fact, 
Don't attempt it with principalities or higher ranking demons. You are not intended to deal with those. Yes, the demons that we are to deal with are the demons in our own lives that God is giving us power to overcome. But again, we must remember it is God who is doing the work. We can deliver ourselves from evil by praying. Now, when I say, see, I just did it too. When I say we can deliver ourselves, meaning that we can pray, we can seek God and he will do the work. We ourselves do not have the least bit of power to fight even the smallest, lowest ranking imp at all. But with the power of Jesus Christ, when we don't know what to say, just say Jesus. Yes, say Jesus, as long as there's faith behind it. You see, if we just walk around saying, Jesus, 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 hey, look what I can do, Jesus, you're going to get yourself into so much trouble. When you say Jesus, you're saying, I know the power of the Almighty God that is in me, that is fighting for me. You you're not, yourself are not doing it, but God is doing it for you. So you've got to have that faith in your words. But even then, do not attempt to take on Satan yourself. Resist the devil and he will flee from you, is what the Bible tells us. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist his temptations. Turn to God in all things and he will flee from you. But you are not going to knock him out on your own. You're just going to get yourself hurt very badly. So think about that. That's your Bible time for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you again all real soon. God bless. Music